Hello there. So um, I just recently received my Apex Pro Mini, and I would want to centralize this video around why this keyboard is so good and why you should buy it to play competitive video games, but I feel like that would be too long and it's going to be too much yap for most of you. So if you guys want a video on that, just leave a comment and I will. I'll dive into the technical specifics of this keyboard's technological uh, advantages. But I wanted to cover um, some issues that you might have ran into. Well, you might run into if you buy this keyboard. So I think the biggest issue with the Apex Pro Mini, mind I do have the Apex Pro Mini, not the TKL or the 20, actually I don't know about the 2023 TKL, but I don't have the original Apex Pro TKL which uses Omni Point 1.0 switches. Uh, the Apex Pro Mini minis, including the wireless one, all use Omni Point 2.0 switches. I don't know if that makes a difference, but I just want to make it clear. So I think the biggest issue many people have with this keyboard is after plugging it in, well, I mean, once you do plug it in, your default actuation will be at 1.8 millimeters. But, you know, obviously the reason why you bought this keyboard is because you want it at 0 0.1 millimeters with the rapid trigger function. Now, when I did that, I think along with many others who tried to put their switches at 0 0.1 millimeters with rapid trigger on, it, your keyboard would start spamming like random letters random like for me I mean it's uh, apparently it's different for everyone for me it was spamming a lot of a lot of slashes and brackets for uh, no re real apparent reason and what would happen is that um, it would just keep spamming these keys and my windows would eventually crash so that's very odd and really frustrating actually now on the TKL versions you do have an OLED screen meaning that you can Without this software, you can change the actuations. Uh, but on the Mini, obviously, as a 60% formatted keyboard, there is no space for an OLED screen. Therefore, when it starts spamming keys, you're kind of forced to restart your computer, or like because plugging in and plugging it out, I mean, disconnecting it and plugging it back in won't really change anything. It'll still be at 0 0.1 millimeters. So it's kind of paramount that you read the instruction manual and you should and you will notice that if you press the steel series function key plus i it will um increase the actuation distance therefore because in, what i have noticed at the start was that anything below 0 0.4 millimeters would start to spam these random keys and just crash windows so if you just control o I mean control I, con I mean not control, sorry, steel series function plus I, uh, mind that it doesn't stack so you need to press steel series function and I, let go of, the, of both keys and then press it again. That will lower the actuation by I think in increments of, I mean increased actuation distance in increments of 0 0.2 millimeters if I'm not wrong. Therefore you can get back to um, higher actuation points so your keyboard won't start having a seizure. Now I did do a crap ton of research on why this hap why this would happen and unfortunately the only ant the only solution was to factory reset your keyboard. Now again that's not possible on the Apex Pro Mini because we don't have an OLED screen. So we can't factory reset it so uh, I did try uninstalling the drivers via device manager and uninstalling the drivers via the SteelSeries software. Now, well, not surprisingly, that didn't work. So I did reach out to support and I was told that there are calibration, there is a calibration mode that you can do with this keyboard. Um, but I, it didn't really work either. But it was, I did get my keys to get to zero like f fully functioning at 0 0.1 millimeters with rapid trigger at 0 0.1 millimeters as well without any problems but that was only after I have done the calibration method but then I also did a few other things so like to con in conclusion like I really don't know what I did 
to resolve this issue, but like it might have just been a matter of time. But here are some of the steps that I did do. Now let me open Chrome. I'm going to show you the email that I had with SteelSeries. So, shout out to, well, uh, Mrs. Catherine from SteelSeries Customer Experience. Actually, this is probably the best customer experience I've had online. They responded super fast and really they're really nice too. So, they're sorry, which is nice. Um, and keep in mind that this keyboard is fully new from Amazon. It's not a redeemed version, so it's none of that. So this is these are the calibration steps. Please try this, and uh, it definitely is something new that I didn't know. I mean, the instructions manual don't even cover this. So unplug your keyboard first. I'm not I'm not going to show it like because I don't have a webcam that I can use to show it. But you know, this should be pretty straightforward. These instructions, you know. So unplug your keyboard, just unplug it. There's nothing special about that. And then once it's unplugged, that means like there's no power to it. Hold the Steel Series function key, which is, if you, I think a lot of people are confused. This is the function key. Like this Steel Series icon is the function key. They they call it meta layer, but it's just a function key. So press the Steel Series function key plus I and O. So hold down all three keys at once when it's unplugged. Then, while holding those three keys, plug it back in, and all your Omni Point keys should light up as like, well, they should be yellow, except for the Steel Series I and O keys because they they've already been pressed. They are they've turned white already. So once you press every key, or as she says it, after you bottom out every key, they will turn into a white color. So. Keep in mind that the Steel Series I and O will already be white since you've been holding them down. So then you just press every single key on your keyboard until it turns white. And then, as Catherine says, the Steel Series key plus I plus O, they'll pulse red. And then, after you can confirm every single key on your keyboard except for the um, Steel Series I and O are white. Then you can just press Steel Series function key I O at the same time. When they're the red keys, basically they will be flashing red. Press them all at once, and then your keyboard will flash a few times. It'll go back to normal. Now, I did do this. I put all my keys back at 0.1 millimeters again with rapid trigger, and it did not work. That's why I replied saying that. Um, I did reply saying that it did not work. I don't know where my reply is, but it's somewhere in there. So it didn't work the first time. I did do it around three times, and I don't really know what fixed it. But after that, I just simply unplugged my keyboard and plugged it back in. And after that, I put it all at 0 0.1 millimeters. I mean, 0 point, uh, 0 0.4 millimeters, which then I just held down the Steel Series function key and pressed. Alt, like I just did Steel Series function key plus Alt a few times, and apparently it worked. So I don't know. Try that. 